Bringing you local teams, highlights, and scores, this is KTTC Sports Extra. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. We back. What's going on, friends? Welcome into Sports Extra. I'm Julie Mitchell alongside Nick Spelliopoulos. We are back and rolling for the winter sports season. That's right, Julie. And games are rolling on the hardwood, the ice, the mat already. We've got you covered across all those sports tonight. We're going to start with a great HVL matchup in girls hoops. Coach Josh Weemy and his number one ranked Goodhue Wildcats against Todd Gergeson in the Lured Eagles. Lured, Lured Ruby Fleas with a nice feed here. Good Hugh taking on, taking on Lured here. Ruby Fleas with a nice feed in the post to Lauren Hust. Who had a great seal in the near block. Left hand, no good. Offensive rebound, second chance with, is up and in. Eagles trail 8-4 early. Now, Wildcats with the driving kick for Lola Christensen. And the bank still open at 8. She makes it 3 good. She makes it 3 good. Hugh leads by 7. We mean the Wildcats turning up the pressure on the Eagles. This is what they do, that full court press. Kendall Lodemeyer with the steal all the way to the other end for an easy two, 16-9. Good Hugh. Eagles Aaliyah Williams here using speed to escape the press. Stops on a dime, pull up. That's good off the baseline. Lord cutting the Wildcats lead to six at the half. Nick, quite a game here in this one. A final score, Good Hugh winning 50 to 48 nail biting game. Elizabeth Gadian with the game winning shot with under 35 to play in this one to give the Wildcats a win. Uh, Gadian had, excuse me, 15 points in the match. Lauren Huss led Lord, led the game with 22 points overall. Well, here just up the road from us, the Pine Island Panthers taking on the number three Stortville Tigers early in the contest here. Pine Island turnover puts the Tigers on offense. JC Rath with a long Outlet pass to Taylor Clement, who banks it off the glass to put Stuartville on the board. Up by five, Tigers back on the attack, looking to set up on the perimeter. Three Panthers in the paint. That's going to leave Clement wide open on the outside. He'll knock down the triple. Now, very next possession here, right off that make, Panthers match that shot with one of their own. Caitlin Larum with the jumper. That cuts the deficit to six. Panthers looking to climb back into this one. June Lizaraldi hangs on, though, through contact, making Toward the basket, sinks it. Great sky hook over two defenders. Kareem would be proud of that one. Tigers looking to extend their lead. It's Audrey Schindler working against pressure on the outside. Hands it off to Rath, fighting her way through defenders. And the shot rolling around the rim. It's going to go down. Rath already up to nine points on the night in this one. As Stuartville go on to win this one 75 38. The final from that game. Tigers rolling in, pinning state runner ups from a year ago with the win there. Next, we go out to the Chosen Valley. Ranked battle here, number 16, Chatfield, against number 15, Dover Iota. Jump in second half, Gophers down five, great ball movement. Taylor Ask from the corner, catch me outside, how about that? Go ahead and ask one more time. Trailing, three ball. This one's going up, word to Mike Brain. Bang! Chatfield takes a one point lead off back to back threes. But here's Dover Iota, cookies! Let me get those, says Isabel Durham, an easy layup. Goes down, Eagles back in front. More defense to offense. Emerson Bramer, five-finger discount. We love those. Easy two. Goes down again. Three-point. Dover Yoda lead. Eagles starting to fly. Nice pass here. Malin Bachetter, little middies money. I tell you, this Eagles team looking good. Duelman, another steal, another easy layup. Eight-point lead for Dover Yoda as the Eagles, they're flapping those wings, soaring to a 71-56 win in this game. Now we're going to go to Cass and the Austin Packers in town visiting Ryan Haraldson and the Comets. Packers Quinn Osgood bringing the ball up the floor and a great backdoor cut by Marissa Shute gets her the ball she can't finish. Gracie Yarn grabs the offensive rebound gets the Packers second chance point extending their lead 27-21. Later Osgood would get a steal leaves it up to Ajim Agua who settles the play down Finds a wide open Nora Sand knocking down the shot. One step in from the three point line for a double digit lead. Now, the best way to get a high percentage three is inside out. Sid Schubert to Birch knows the double team is on. Matt Carrier for the three, getting the game back within seven. When all was said and done from this one, Casson Manorville falls 54 to 73. As we go elsewhere, Lake City wins 73 to 26. 
tonight. No score in there for that Cannon Falls ZM game. Do have a stat in that KM game. Keegan Cummings for KM, 20 points, 5 rebounds in that win. And more high school boys basketball now. Duluth Denfield, they win tonight over Casson Manorville, 75 to 62. We got some more pages of scores here. Nothing in from Mayo against Albert Lee. In girls basketball, Winona beats, beats, excuse me, beats Northfield at 76, 46. Mackenzie Simmons, 25 points in that win for the Windhawks. Elsewhere here, Century took on Chamlin Park. I believe that game was at Hopkins. Century Falls, 66 to 58 in that game. More scores on the boys' side of things. Century and Farmington, both ranked teams in this one. Century 18th. Farmington 15, a really great basketball game up there at Farmington. A final score of 80 to 78. Century Falls in a tight one as a team that is looking good so far starting this year there. Well, we're just getting started here on Sports Extra. Still ahead, we're going to hit the mat for a big wrestling triangular between the ZM, Mayo, and Pine Island. Heavy hitters there. Plus, St. Charles and Lewiston Altura battle it out on the hardwood. Find out if the Saints could defend their home floor after the break. <laughs> 